Dodge, Young, Armani, Zone, Round of 20, Group C. Africa TV, Free Cup Studio, live. 2022, GSL Season 2. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's time to go to the elimination match. Uh, this will be Armani versus Ryung. Zhao, of course, has escaped into the round of 10. Uh, and we're going to have this match decide who will face off against Dark, because there's only one more spot here for Group B. Yeah, yeah, kind of wild. Uh, if Dark gets eliminated as well, Tasteless. Yeah. That, like, honestly, you have to kind of look at it and say, OK, why has Maru not won a fifth GSL? And the answers are dark and rogue. So yeah. there's a possibility that Maru wins GSL tonight. And he's tonight. not even in the group. He's not even here. <laughs> he's going to win it. He's not even going to play. Well, literally, who can stop him other than those two? It's like That's a good point. Those two and like two people in Europe. It's yeah. like the, the four best Zergs in the world can stop Maru, and that's about it. We're going to go to Hardwire, then Blackburn, and then Burley Grad. Again, Ryung got pounded by Dark early on, but Armani is a different beast. He might have a shot. Well, I think I think he has a shot. Uh, should be interesting. I, I mean, I, it was hard to gauge where Armani was at exactly. Zaun has a different style. Zaun just beat Dark just as easy as he beat Armani. Very true. So Very true. who knows? I don't know what I'm going to be looking at here. All right, guys, our game has loaded up. Armani versus Ryung starts now. I came for Guangdong Freaks, Armani. Team GP, Liang. Okay, well, let's keep in mind that one of the games that Ryung played in, it was like he just got a, a crappy spawn on Nautilus 2. Okay. Right, that okay. first game we had, so. Yeah, cross spawn, we haven't it's a seen, little bit difficult. Yeah, we haven't seen that much from him. I, th I do think this map is much more doable. Oh, for sure, uh, yeah. ZVT here. Yeah. But yeah, Ryung last season, I mean, it was like kind of insane what he was pulling off. Yeah, he looked trying to remember exactly, but I'm fairly certain my opinion last season was that he was second Terran tomorrow. Like, he looked better than Bunny last season. And Bunny, yeah. for the last couple seasons, has been, like, a step above everyone else. A fan since 2008! 14 years of cast. Oh, Damn. old school shout-outs there. Thank you for coming down, man. So good to have audiences again, man. So much more yeah, fun. Yeah. I mean, I like doing the show no matter what, but when there was just like, I don't know, big empty cavernous <laughs> studio, right? Yeah. Players lose and just walk out of the studio. Nothing like nothing happened. Oh, yeah, it's it not can, the same. It, there's definitely a better feel to have people here. It's really nice when I run down to the bathroom, say hi to people and stuff. That's right. Talk a little bit. Shake your hands. You yeah. Know, you didn't have time to wash your hands in between that bathroom break. Yeah. I'm like, don't worry. I already had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, and again, guys, those of you at home, <clears throat> you can come down to the studio. Uh, I'm sure you know people are going to start traveling to Korea again. Hmm. We've already had some tourists now coming in. Um. Well, like good old Reaper versus Sling Battle, man. Yeah, my Very favorite part of StarCraft stuff. too. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. It's crazy how long we've been on for now, man. Yeah. This, what year are we on for GSL? So, 12? Gentleman with the sign, he said he's been a fan for 14 years, but that would include StarCraft 1. Yeah, 14 so, years is when you were casting StarCraft 1 for Golf TV. Right. That's how long ago that was. So, I think GSL has been on for close to 12 years. 
Yeah. I think we just hit year 11 or... or oh, I think maybe in September is the birthday for 12 years. Okay, that could be. Yeah. That's kind of yeah, wild. We are the years old. record holder for longest esports show yeah. ever going on. Don't know if it's ever going to be topped either, man. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? I was like, oh, you just wait, Taste. This Overwatch League is going to pass us <laughs> days. <laughs> oh, it's coming. They're nipping at our heels, aren't they? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah. so we've it's got... A, well, no, I, I guess... Uh, I mean, GSL, hopefully forever, right? But what's the next biggest? Is it like uh, Riot League? The... Uh, uh... I guess technically Intel Extreme Master's been around a long time, but that's kind of That's a, a bunch different... of games, right? Yeah, like, it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, because exactly Intel Extreme so. Masters, that was around during Warcraft it would, 3, It would be right? like a so... LCS or whatever they call it, right? League, yeah. is, League is probably like consistently been the other really long show at this point? Am yeah, I wrong? That, I don't know. No, no, you're right. You're right. And then they have, okay. I mean, LCK for the league out here. But I guess the league overall. Yeah, just in general. WCS had a long run. Um, and I think OSL lasted how long? The StarCraft 1 league? Let's see. First that OSL was, was like 2003, was maybe? that nine years or something like that? 2003 to 2012 or something? Yeah. Not quite as long. Yeah. And we've had... Yeah, and I, I've mentioned it before, but there's been more GSL matches than MSL and OSL put together. Isn't that funny? Yeah, so it's like it feels like that was a long time and really epic and stuff, and it certainly was, but... It does not compare to GSL. GSL is just ridiculous. What a juggernaut. So we've got the uh, CC landing. It's going to be uh, three basing Terran here. Again, a slow game. This seems to be Ryung's bread and butter right now. Mm. It's very paced out, you know, TVZs. Well, it's hard to make uh, aggressive early TVZ have any consistency to it, you know? It and seems like we're kind of past that part of the game, right? <clears throat> oh, almost yeah. gets that SCV. It's just, it, like, it's it's hard to be aggressive and consistent with the ag aggressive plays, so. Okay, this drop coming in is very interesting. There's a lot of lings on the way. Yeah. So what is this? Is this five Hellions and then like and then six Viking. Marines yeah. and a Viking? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and he's going to have a couple more Marines Dude, out here. I don't know that Zerg can actually deal with this. This is a cool little drop. Look at this. Okay, I was wrong. I thought I didn't realize there were this many Banelings made, so he just fends us off with these. That was... I still like that. He only lost, two, like, one Hellion and a Viking. Yeah. Or maybe the Viking got in. I don't know, but... Uh, that's hilarious that four Vikings can fit in a medevac, by the way. Yeah, when you just look at the size it just, of it, it's like... <laughs> dude, it, it breaks my immersion so hard, you know? I'm yeah. sitting in this world wondering what's going to happen because I never finished Legacy of the Void. I'm like, yeah. I don't know, does Kerrigan win? Does something... It seems like there's something ominous going on. I'm not really sure. I never got past Mission 2. Yeah, that was um, one of the more awkward things for us was uh, telling Blizzard that we never beat the campaign for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't play campaigns. Like, seriously? You guys never beat it? I'm like, no. And I probably never will. <laughs> One day. I'm only here for multiplayer. Yeah. Like, I'm only going to live for, like, 250 years, guys, okay? <laughs> like, I don't have time for that, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to be good with Terran. They're like, oh, no, we get it, totally. No yeah. Terran players ever finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your excuse, <laughs> Tasteless? Like, well, I like to watch TV. <laughs> 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 Reality TV's really good. It's like, okay, Tasteless, that's cool. That's so funny. Um, by the way, we have a little push coming up here. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but we've got nine Mutas coming out here. And when the Mutalisks are in this group, he's going to have a lot of damage he can deal out. All right. I mean, pushing the edges right now pretty well. Of course, yeah. this fourth base, you were talking about it a lot uh, when he played against um, Darth, right? Where right. You kind of harass here. You pop up, you pop down. See what you can get done. Okay, he's going to come up here now. And Muta's flying out now for Armani. I, I I mean, I'm always a fan of Ling Bane Muta, just in general. And Armani, I feel like, has gotten pretty good at it, too, by the way. Yeah, he's become very strong with it. And one thing you want to be careful about when you're Terran doing this, you do not want to overextend uh, here, because that's how they're just going to thin out your Ooh. Nice! Good hit. Nice placement. Yeah, very nice. Uh-oh. 
links are going to come in here, and this is the kind of overextension I was talking about. If those links can start to overwhelm those Marines, it's going to thin those numbers out. You're not going to have that kind of uh, oomph when the push really comes. Hmm. Seems like he's fine, though. That was that was good enough defense, I think. Viking getting in on it some. I guess that did make it out in one of the medevacs. Yeah, now we know. <laughs> Now, if a medevac could land, could four medevacs go inside of one medevac? Yeah, the question is, if it could land and Vikings could hold things, could four medevacs fit inside one Viking? And what <laughs> if, what if, hold on though, if we had four medevacs, each full of four medevacs, and they all landed, and then got into a medevac? Yeah. That would be like 17 you, medevacs, man. A you, 17 medevac drop. How crazy would that be? Can you imagine if the medevac could land and it was just walking around how stupid it would look? With well, it would just be like beam. a StarCraft 1 medic. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. <clears throat> that would be amazing, Tasteless. You can't parasitic bomb that, yeah, can you? That's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a big engage over here. It looks like he's got sights set on this third. Big surround over here. Oh, my God. The body block is so good. The Bane's not good even needing to connect yeah. to most of their targets here for the damage to be done. Can he get any more? Good split by Armani there too, by the way. Yeah. Just taking those mine hits. Uh, continuing to make his mutas. Infestation Pit's going to be finishing up, so certainly on to Hive in plenty of time. Uh, his 2-2 two -two is significantly slower than Ryung's, so uh, that's that's going to bode well for Ryung. Uh, he's about to have Drilling Claws as well, so... Yeah, this is actually, this is a moment where Ryung should be able to do favorably if they do battle. But obviously, a big part of Ling Bay Muta is your mobility, right? And your potential to counterattack, harass, get back, defend. Looks like he's going to come in once more. Does he actually have enough? Ryung's been extremely passive this game. We just passed 10 minutes, and, you know, he hasn't hardly done anything out on the map just yet. No, not too much. I think that sometimes can be what the game is going to look like when you're playing against Link Bay Muta, too. It, yeah, I think it's probably actually the right way to play. Yeah, like, the thing is, this probably is the window where he has greatest potential. He's making a lot of turrets, though. Like, maybe he just brings this longer. Well, I think we're at the point where you're going to have to start to act here. Zerg is going to take the whole top of the map pretty soon here. I yeah. actually thought Zerg expanded to the bottom right, but it's just Link's shaped perfectly like a hatchery. <laughs> um, it's a melting hatchery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a lot of veins, by the way. Yeah. Whoa! Ouch! That was a sexy hit right there. Yeah, nicely done. More veins are going to come through here. Quick lift go off run. the planetary. Uh, and that's the thing, when you get a lead like this, you could just punish like that, you know? Well, I mean, he does spend a lot of supply there and everything. Ultra's Cavern on the way. Yeah. 3-3, three, three, uh, as well as Adrenal. He goes right back up to being maxed out with 70 more Lings about to hatch. You know, 3-3 three, three upgrades again ahead for Rion. But they're even right now. A lot of command centers. Ryung is playing a very withdrawn game here. I don't know what the actual plan is for Ryung. Okay, like you can you can go three three and you can continue to build your economy. But it, I mean, it's going to be hard for him to hold half the map. It and, certainly will be. I mean, obviously, Armani is starting to bank a lot of money here. Yeah. Um, like, I, I am a little bit confused. Okay, he's he's getting plus two, plus one vehicles. Okay. You know, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, Ghost Academy and Fusion Core at the same time. Wow. Lots of teching up here. So, so, yeah, no, I, I don't know what Ryung's plan is. Blue Flame, it's like he's getting everything. And a lot of the times I would probably look at this and say, oh, it's clearly going to be like a switch in a mech or something. It could be, but I'm not sure. Like, he's getting all these upgrades. I mean, that actually wasn't as bad for him as it looked like. Dude, two big wins over here. Two denials on both of those hatches. I feel like Ryung is starting to get a little bit too large on the map here. You know, like... He certainly not, has a lot. He's not getting beaten down just yet. We're gonna have a lot of ultras made here. The Vita group is still pretty big. Maybe with the ultras coming in next, he could actually do something. 
The, the one thing that's in the back of my mind, but this sounds too silly, is if you think about Armani's very late game, he gets very wasteful trying to kill his opponent. To the point where I, we were teasing him a lot in some of these seasons, because he's the type of guy who runs 12 lurkers up and they all die in Siege Tank. Fire, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, maybe the turtle play is... It, it could be Ryung just saying, okay, well, I mean, eventually you're just going to suicide in, right? Like, like this. Yeah, like I mean, right over here. When those hit perfectly, that's pretty sick, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, Not sure Artosis. 122 links in production. <laughs> yeah, he just remaxes out. He's got the funds, dude. Yeah. The thing is, Ryung's hanging on, but like, look, he's floating at 150 supply. These links are going to hatch before he can max out again. And then you got to yeah. wonder, like, can he do this two or three more times and then start to really wipe out the rest of the positions? Maybe. He hasn't truly dented anything, right? Like, there's no bases that are dead or anything like that. Right. Uh, now we're getting into Liberator, Siege Shanks, Ghosts. 28 this. Bane's on the way here. Dude, he's just getting, like, every upgrade on Earth. He's going to upgrade, like, Psionic Storm soon, and he doesn't even have a Templar Archives. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to have another attack in here. Looks like we certainly could. He is slowly caught up in supply, but I, again, I don't see exactly what's down here to defend. All right, there we go. We're getting a shot of it now. But there's so many Banes. There are a lot. Oh, I think he kind of miscontrolled that. Some of the Banes went on the planetary. Others yeah. went to the army. Well, that and is the exact... Terran flatly holds. Yeah, it, that's the exact type of thing that I was talking about with Armani, is he gets ahead and then he does stuff like that. Yeah. Right, where he's like, okay, the most entrenched position, let's go try to kill it. And then he loses everything. Now, all that being said, I still think he's ahead. <laughs> 12 Corruptors on the way. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Liberator range coming up? I mean, you, you know, it would be, it's not the craziest thing to say that like, if they just came out one more time, Terran did, if Zerk could flatten that and then go right back to it, but. I mean, how long before Terran really starts to mine out? Because Zerg now has this 3 o'clock position here on the far right. He could get the 9 o'clock position as well. 3 and 9. Yeah, Run can't allow that. Like, that's... That's going to be too much. Those are the two crucial bases. You can't right. let him get both and you're going to lose. All right, Bane's really coming through here. Corruptor's just shredding everything airborne. But tanks for screens and screens. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. He lifts it off, and the Corruptors <laughs> just one-shot it. Yeah, Greater Spire coming up, so he's going to have a little bit more flexibility with those Corruptors as well. But, I mean, he doesn't... I guess he does have th level 3 air weapons, so that's pretty solid. Oh, does he? <clears throat> yeah. He needs to start having drones mine out this base on the right. That's more important than even mining from the base, like, in the top left, man. That's more... <laughs> yeah. I would 100% agree with that. I'm a big fan of trying to mine out some of these bases as much as possible. Yeah. The ones that may switch sides. Of yeah. course, it's more dangerous too, right? They might get in and get your drones, but I think at this point, that's okay. Now, he's going to make a bunch of Banes, 33 to be precise, and he's going to hit again. This time, it's going to be just south of this position we're looking at here. Another command center waiting. Now, this is the one that, like, he could have killed the planetary, but then he, like, waffled and, like, got it mm. down to, like, 30% of its HP and then turned. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Five Infestors going to be popping out here as well. Mines, tanks, ghosts. More command centers as well. Okay, let's see. It's a lot of Banes coming in. Yeah. See Shanks obviously getting some value here. Just insane connections here. I need to see the cost efficiency tab. Oh. I need you to see it. You might go blind if you see that, man. It's going to be not it's, pretty. It's like when they open the, the Ark or whatever yeah, the, what in Indiana it? Jones, yeah. the Ark of the Lost Covenant or yeah. whatever. <laughs> or maybe it'll be like, uh, what is it, Joseph's Technicolor Dream Code? I see it. I'm like, wow, it's so beautiful. 
I really do. I want to see it so badly, Tasteless. It's the only thing I care about right now is seeing the efficiency rating here of Ryung. All right, well. I want to be a StarCraft II insurance salesman where I just look at your cost efficiency and I tell you how much I'll insure your base <laughs> for, you know? I'll be like this little neutral hero camp in the middle. You can go up and get insurance. I'm like, well, <laughs> real TBZ, you're actually, you're at a two to one can, ratio can here, these, man. Can we get these Banes insured, please? <laughs> yeah. Armani, I'm like, oh no, dude, you're, you're a toxic asset, yeah, man. I'm, I'm not, sorry, buddy. You can't get insurance yeah. here, bro. I will cash your shit Literally before you payday, have but that's it. Too many pre-existing conditions in <laughs> this game. Look <laughs> at that tank trying to the siege. The what tank's like, do? oh my god, I lived. Yeah. <coughs> Cloak's gonna finish. So are the Broodlords, though, Artosis. Oh my god, Tasteless. This is the thing about Armani. He's, like, really good, but he's not able to finish like these other Zergs are. Yeah, yeah, he's quite strong mid-game, I think, is yeah. the big thing. I, In fact, his... Early game doesn't really strike me as anything special. I think his mid game is really solid. Yeah. He does a good job of kind of everything there. And then late game, every ZVP or ZVT late game is him just like running into siege lines. Yeah. Which I feel like shouldn't have even happened here because it was like Marine Mine against Ling Bane Muta. So I feel like. We should have had something decisive happen in the middle game, but Ryung just has literally sat there the whole time. By the way, uh, that base has not been retaken yet. The one that Terran lost earlier, and Zerk's now expanding to 9 o'clock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's... spaghetti -o. That's a truly spaghetti -o moment. That's, yeah. Mom's spaghetti -os. Mom's spaghetti -os is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, we are good. Dude, 12 years. These weak arms are steady. <laughs> yeah. Something, something, mom's spaghettios. <laughs> uh, well, you know, the thing is, I feel like Ryung is just sort of lasting in this game. I didn't even realize how low the minerals were at that base, but there's one Ling burrowed under there. He can't land. Oh, he's screwed then. Yeah. 95 larva. How many Lings can you make with that, Tasteless? Uh, I need to get my calculator out, but I... Multiply it by two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> so, he's going to come all the way around and kill this off. All right. This is peak StarCraft here. These corruptors flying over this turret. They're making it use its bullets, Stasis. Yeah. They're just giving a little scow scow. <clears throat> Lots of kills on those queens. 59 kills on a siege tank. I don't know which one we're clicked on right now, but that's quite the hero. That's impressive. Yeah, 59, not bad. That siege I like tank siege mass cost efficiency. Oh, there's the infestors. All right. So his attack moving uh, Ling Bane Ultra did not work. So we're going to go to Wings of Liberty. We're going to reset, right? We're going to go back. It's going to be a Wings of Liberty attack here with... Uh, yep. Infestor Broodlord. See if that works. If not, we're going to go into Swarm Host, hopefully. We haven't seen a Swarm Host yet. No dog whistles coming out of Armani here today. <laughs> never, you'll never convince me otherwise, Tasteless. Every top Zerg, when they're winning, accidentally makes a Swarm Host? Okay, I believe you, Zerg <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> well, can he just not attack in with these Broodlords? We do see this happen where Zerg's like go into Broodlords and they're like, well, now I can't do anything because I made Broodlords. Well, they, yeah, they gotta they gotta wait and make sure that their opponent has the absolute counter to Broodlord, you know? Yeah. Like 10 Thors and 20 Ghosts. Yeah. Well, just making more and more Broodlords here. Yeah. Just keep adding to it. I would not mind if we could do a mineral check here to kind of see where the Terran's at as far as mining out goes because... I'd like any information other than the exact information we've been looking at on yeah, the screen yeah. the entire game. <laughs> any information. Any information. Like... <clears throat> Anything. How many minerals are there? Because we're Dude. just seeing these bases. I'm like, these will mine out, and that's actually the... Flash me their Liquipedia pages. There we Sorry, go. I'll, I'll take their birthdays <laughs> at this point. Just something that's not exactly I what's on the screen. I think we can screen. tell that bottom right is also going to mine out here pretty quickly. It looks like the... Hey, did you see did you see that on the Ghost Academy when it makes a nuke? It's got, like, one through five. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess that's so you can queue up upgrades and stuff. But, like, you should be able to queue five nukes, man. I think so. Just have five nukes in a, a Ghost Academy. 
Um, you think that every place that we launch nukes from on this planet only have one nuke in it? Probably not, if you I had fool. to guess. Of course not. Even submarines have more than one nuke on them, Tasis. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Everybody knows yeah. that. Pull anybody inside on the street and ask them that, they know. <laughs> um, well, we're getting nukes. Corvid reactor, Tasis. Corvid. He's going rave. He's going rave, Tasis. Ah. All right. He's got a nuke. Look at those creep tumors just, yeah. just destroyed. Just dying in pain. Ah. Right, he's going to do it again. Go Get that overseer. That taxing APM. He's got to unburrow those now. What is he going to do? Is he going to sit there and eat it? Oh, Too what late. A nuke. Oh, it didn't what? make it. I heard it in the air. <laughs> it's going to hit something in game two now. Imagine that, it's his own base. Yeah. It's like, damn, I That's lost. unfortunate. So 10,000 minerals for Armani, but only 700 gas. That's the one thing that's truly imbalanced. Yeah, we this know that he can make a lot of, uh, oh my God, he's gonna expand down here. Okay, I think we're gonna slowly watch uh, Ryung die if he can't start to, to, to actually take bases. There's not a base that has a full ma amount of patches, by the way. There's a lot of Thors. What do you say about that? Oof. Not much, Artosis. Five more Broods, Dude, though. this is such a long game. Five so Broods crazy. on the way, my man. Yeah. Take a look at that. Well, he sniped you. Five were sniped, so he has to fill them back in. Yeah, that's really crucial. When I see this many Thors and Ghosts, that's what I think to myself. I'm like, you know what I need right now? Broodlords. Broodlords, dude. What about anything else, Arcosis? No. No, he's going to throw some drones away. Or no, he's not. Okay. I think he just wanted to mine. Yeah. I like those spines there. Here come the Broods. Creeps. Queens be a tumor in. Be a tumor in. Be a tumor in. All right, we're getting closer to the push. Again, this is the resource mineral, uh, resource rich side, excuse me, of the map here. Ooh, look at that damage output. Maybe he was right, those five root lords were precious. All right, you can tear through the gas now. They continue to push here. And if Terran loses this, they really don't have any mining resource spots. Yeah, he's still got a good bank and everything, but. Okay, I think the Broodlings win this fight. Yeah, the Broodlings are winning everything, but look at this. The, the Thor is coming from what I would call an unexpected angle, but they're going over creep, so definitely look at all those changelings. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So he's not mining anymore. How do you like this Overseer Overlord ratio, 11 to 11? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, me too. Now we're gonna have this, uh, Giant army. I feel like we are very close to the end here. I feel like that enough critical damage has been done here in the bottom right, and Terran eventually is gonna, yeah, look, he's gonna just come through here, take out the gas, target well, down the planetary. I, I think Ryung is actually going to annihilate this army. Yeah, but, but then, he's got 37 workers, and there is a bigger bank for our money. I think if he annihilates it and goes and kills like three bases, it's very doable. Well, there's gonna be a lot of larva banked. Yeah. That's for sure. And again, I mean, it's not going to be easy for Terran to remake this. No gas income, by the way. Ooh. That's very important because if you have no gas income, you're making Marines and Hellions. Yeah. Blinding clouds galore there for a moment. Yeah. Unseach tanks trying to fight broodlings. Yeah. Blue flame hellbats trying to hold everything back. Okay, he's going to blow everything up with this mass Thor. Yeah. So there's nice like target. no units for Armani right now, and we have only 17 larvae, and he had like over 100. So let's see what he's making. Okay, it's all popped out. 52 more lings. Is he just making lings? Just I ling mean, man? With this Look at his Thor's... supply taste, it's 135. Yeah. He's got that and a missile upgrade coming. <laughs> <laughs> just in case he needs the road yeah. switch. Yeah. You never know when you need some roaches, Tasteless. Terran's on 14 SCVs, though. And again, all the gas has basically been spent. 91 gas remaining. 
I don't know, dude. Something was not done correctly here from Armani's standpoint. Well, Armani has, he has 85 eight, supply. He has 8,000 minerals. And 85 supply. And now he's like, making some He's making investors. seven investors, and which eats up all of his gas. I don't get it. I feel like this is a corrupted replay. Dude, yeah. I'm like, this can't possibly be the right file. I'm like, so the no guy with 10k like minerals just sat at 80 supply, you say? He just sat there at it? Is that right? And that was a pro game? Huh. <clears throat> I mean, there's going to be a point where there's going to be so many lings, you'd think he could probably overpower the Thors, but I guess with just a couple Hellions here, that makes it a lot yeah. harder, right? Blue Flame, man. Terran is just going to take all the other bases. <clears throat> I think there's actually hope for Ryung here. Not just hope, Tasteless. Despair for his opponent. 18 roaches. 18 plus zero roaches? Hell yeah. That's the move. I don't know, man. I feel like we've watched Armani play quite the insane late game and mm -hmm. then kind of completely and totally fall apart. Well, he kept making Broodlords against, like, Ghost Thor. Yeah. And it was, I mean, eventually, Ryung is going to kill it, especially if you keep pushing. And he kept pushing, and he had not enough backup for those. And then it's like, OK, well, Ryung barely lost anything. You lost 120 supply. Oh my Whoa. god. This game is now over a half hour, Artosis. It's an epic one. Armani is about maxed out again, by the way. Only 3k bank left. So he spent 7k basically on lings and a few roaches. Roach speed almost done. Well, I mean, neural some Thors, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the real pro move tasteless is neurally <laughs> the uh, hell bats, right? Okay, here we go. He's going to come down on these tanks. Can we get this? Here's the neurals. Yeah, he does go ahead and scan. That's a lot of neurals, man. Holy crap, but everything ends up dying. All right, and Ryung barely loses anything there. This is quite the comeback here from Ryung but I will rest the fault here on the shoulders of Armani. Well, it, what do you think about my theory that Ryung just is like, Armani always suicides late game, and then he, so he just sits there and waits you for You could it. be onto something, man. It just seems like, what if your opponent doesn't do that? And then you're like, oh, damn, he just has two more bases than me. <laughs> how, the, ah! how the mighty have fallen, man. It's uh, Armani now with a pretty bad income right now yeah. a lower supply uh, and honestly you know uh, you know that that situation we've had so many times before we, we've talked about so many times before has happened here now Zerg has nowhere to expand resources dry up on their side of the map Terran the race that's going to get the resources in a little bit slower a little bit later is now benefiting from the way the race functions right there's still resources on their side of the map Amrani is still mining a little bit more uh, but he's basically playing against Mech here. Yeah. Look, he's lost almost a thousand links. Wow, that's a big number. Holy crap! Nine hundred fifty-six Zerglings lost. Now he's not budging. He's gonna let this Zerg uh, run out of resources. I think. Tasteless is is a thousand one percent of a million. Is a thousand one percent of a million? Yeah. What's a uh, hundred thousands? No, that's a hundred thousand, right? So I'd be no. What have you done to us right now? <laughs> what have you done to you and Tasis, me right now, putting me on the spot? I am literally watching Armani just sit here and build Ling Roche at 33 minutes into the game. Yeah. What have I done, Tasteless? I've, I've tried to change the subject to something <laughs> else. <laughs> Forgive me. This is going on for so long. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is crazy. All right, we got the three Thor drop going. Gumiho thought he was hot stuff with two Thor drop. What about yeah. the 33 minute three Thor drop? One Thor for every 11 minutes of the game. <laughs> you wait till 44 minutes, it's gonna blow your mind. One Jesus. Thor for every 11 minutes of the game. That's very good. All right, here comes the Ling Bane Road Ravager. Okay, he clears, <laughs> clears a little bit. Okay. This, we have two players, Artosis, and one of them is wrong right now. They're not supposed to be 
both not engaging each other like this. Like the Zerg right now is attacking the part of the map that doesn't matter. Look, if this was if this StarCraft team was going on my house, they'd both get timeouts, okay? Yeah. I don't get it though. Like Terran has is only mining for one spot on the map, but Zerg's just not going there. <laughs> Zerg's like trying to like stop gas from being mined at this base blows <laughs> base. I just don't get it, man. Well, maybe maybe he's being more active there because that's like the last big mineral node, right? So he needs to hold that area yeah. as well. Or he could also just expand to the other big mineral node over here on the right. Well, I think there's almost nothing left there. All right, here well, we go. I guess Ryung's base has it, but his doesn't, see? Those uh, little buckets of minerals. Only four buckets left, man. Yep. What happens to the buckets when you mine it out? They just disappear. Isn't that weird? Here we go. It's do or die, now or never. Armor shred on the Banes. Is he an ST? Yeah, just Banes being clicked around here. Oh, a lot of dancing with that. Somehow, that scene the command center lives. That as good as it could have been. 66 supply. Give him time, Tasis. It's going to take a little bit. Now, will Ryung make units and attack so, him, or is he just going to hang back here? Well, he's mining 1,300 per minute, so how many minutes do we need to max? I don't oh. know. But I'll tell you, if another 11 minutes comes, that fourth floor drop is coming. Oh, dude, we're only, yeah, we're nine minutes off that right now. That's what really gets them, too. They don't expect you to have that at 44 minutes, you know? I guess I'm blown away that Ryung doesn't just attack now. Well, I, yeah, I mean, maybe it's hard to read where you're at. Yeah, the game's gone on for so long. It's like, well, does he have a lot of minerals there's, or not? Yeah, there's been a lot of trades. It, it might be hard to tell if he can quite max out again or not. I'm sure that he can look at this and say, our money's out of money now. There we go. GG, end it. Or end me. Get me into the next game. All right. Oh, my God. Ryung takes that one down. That was a bizarre game. I think everybody suffered that game. That was not the way the pro game was supposed to go. Messy play by Armani into unupgraded Roaches and Lings. Well, Bain Ryung, like, basically went into mech in the late game. It was just, like, Mass Thor. The yeah. Broodlord's, like, suicided. Everything suicided so many times. Armani just... He doesn't finish well. He either finishes yeah. you with a bang or he fizzles out. Yeah, he does not have a strong closer. Are we going to have another long one in game two? Maybe. Or is Armani going to be tempted to try to end this quickly and avoid the struggle of the late game Zerg? Yeah. Ooh. We have singing babies. <laughs> All right, Blackburn. All right, guys, Blackburn, map two, let's go. Guangdong Freaks. Our money. Team GP, Ryong. You have to point out, man. Hmm. Every time I look at this map, on the mini map, I just see a lion face with a hipster mustache. Yeah, no, I see it too. There's a lot of faces that can be seen here. Yeah. It's kind of like a really bad magic eye. Yeah. Did your school go through a magic eye phase? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Were you one of the kids that could see the magic eyes or said that you could see the magic eyes? Which I could see them. I knew you how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I took forgot, me like one I day. forgot you were cross eyed as a child, <laughs> tasteless. Yeah. I forgot course. you had pet rock eyes, tasteless. <laughs> you couldn't do it? No, I could see most of them. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes it took me a while to see him. I have to really stare and wait for it to pop mm -hmm. out. Then it'd start to pop out, and I'd get excited, and it would pop back in. I'm like, no! 
Like, yeah, I see the dolphin suits, not dolphins or toes. People used to spend money buying those Magic Eye posters. They oh, were like dude. super trendy and super popular. Yeah, I had the Magic Eye. I had a Magic Eye book. I'm sure there was multiples. Yeah. I thought that was so cool, man. When I got this classic book club. Oh, at, the, yeah. at the time, it was oh, yeah. very cool, man. Okay, um, what kind of game are we going to have here? What I wonder. Uh, eBay block. That's cute. Oh, he's going to get plus one at his third. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, and so this will force, if Zerg does take a third base, which they probably will, to, for it to be either up far away or closer to the Terran. Neither of which are ideal. Blackburn definitely gives us interesting games. By the way, I still think about that stupid game. I think it was NASL, where like uh, Illusion upgraded plus one to his opponent's natural. You remember this? Yeah. Uh, you know he's a Valorant player now. I did not know that. Yeah. What team is he on? You know? Uh, I think he's a high-ranked NA player. I'm not sure. I don't think he's like pro. Oh, okay. But, like, yeah, just a fun little thing. Starcraft players are good at everything. Yeah. Well, every other game is basically easier. StarCraft, so that's how you... Yeah. That's how you get that. So, uh, the EB is going to remain unfinished over here. Is Terran's going to tech up? All right. Away goes the eBay. I like the eBay play, though. Link Speed's coming along here. Yeah. It's... Where, where's the third? When's the third? Well, if it's not soon, we're going to have to see something pretty drastic. You'd think we'd see a layer by now with the, how late that is. Yeah, that Reaper he wanted to see so bad. Oh, my God. Now, the Overlord dies. Do we have any mix-ups here? Do you, like, cancel the Hellions and go to the tech lab or anything? Doesn't look like it. No. Nope. I hope that this turns into Mass Thors. I hope that this game, they almost mine out the entire map. Yeah. And I hope that Ryung never, ever attacks him once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cracking up about that joke. It's like, well, there was three Hellions, one for each 11 minutes of the game. <laughs> three Thors, yeah. <laughs> three Thors, excuse yeah, me. <laughs> it's a good way to randomize your play, right? Yeah. No one expects that. So Stim's coming along here. As, you know, these do... Both these players seem to have very slow starts here. It's going to be double uh, Evo Chamber coming down now. Okay. Let's see if it's Roach or Ling upgrades. I think it's going to be Ling. Honestly, he got ahead with his Ling Bane Muta. Like, he, he looked like he was playing much nicer than Ryung. I like to play a lot better. Yeah. It's just his late game, you know? Armani's like... Yeah, he, he's like an Alka-Seltzer, you know? It's like he's he's really good, uh, but at the end of the game, Siegel has to eat him to die. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. that's that's the Siegel thing. Siegel has to eat him to explode. <laughs> yeah, and he just he needs you to do that for him. It's like he's already cured all your stomach illnesses <laughs> and like you know all that's left is for the seagull to eat him. But if the seagull just isn't interested, that's it. That's it, man. The Alka Seltzer sits in the sand and no one wants that. <laughs> God. Um, we're getting delirious, man. After that last <laughs> half hour game, I'm like, I don't even yeah. know what's going on right now. All right, Stim, about to finish up over here. Uh, and again, we're probably not going to have any real action for a little while now. I mean, they're both powering up pretty heavily. P heavily. P heavily. <laughs> Undy P <pee> tastes. <laughs> All right, so the third CC, is he going to land this close? Zerk, by the way, is really starting to expand out on the map. Yeah. Two more bases being taken here. Well, this is... Here's a big part of it. Does Ryung decide to sit back this game? Because he did last game. There was I definitely windows there that looked like he had potential. I hope potential. for the sake of everybody who does not. Honestly, I don't like Ryung's position here. I liked it better in the previous game. He was ahead on upgrades instead of behind that he is yeah. now. Uh, he had good tech. It, it felt like he was in a position where he had potential to push. Here, it does not feel like that. The creep spread of Armani is particularly nice this game. 
Uh, Ryung will not have any sort of leads on upgrades. In fact, he's down two upgrades at the moment. Yeah, I don't think he can get done anything. Like, obviously, you can run around with some reads of Metabax and harass, but I don't think there's any attack to Well, it just seems to me like, yeah, you can't really sit back like this, right? Now, he's going to come out here and try to clear the creep. Keep in mind that on this map, we actually um, tend to see the Zergs get pushed into their mains more than necessarily into the top left. It's just yeah, a closer top, location. Yeah. It's easier to get in there and do damage. Top left, you don't see many attacks into them. It's, it's very similar to Golden Wall, right? Right, yeah. A lot of the same features here. All right, 1-1 one, one is done. Tanks are coming up here. Counterattack is barely Ooh. denied. Whoa! That was a killer Depot raise. Yeah. It was the best moment in this series so far By was far. that Depot raise. But are you saying it's better than when Armani kept making Broodlords after there were nine Thors in the game? A little bit. I think it's up for debate, Artosis. <laughs> I don't think we need to close the book on that one no, yet. I'm certainly right. All right. Hey, this this is doing all right. Yeah. Like he's he, this is actually like, this is doing this all right for Can this one tank get some cover in the front? There's like the Marines are running back behind the second tank. Uh oh. Uh, okay. I mean, not bad for a money, I think. Yeah. Kills all the reinforcements, has a little bit left over. And Ryung's just this gonna push, keep going for This it. push has to go home, no. Yeah, this I don't know why he's it. committing here. No, yeah. Th like, the two tanks, you might get a little value for a little bit, but I think that this is... This should get held, right? If this... If, if the <laughs> Terran uh, wins this game with this push, Artosis, I don't know what to say, man. There's been no reinforcements able to make it down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, he's got enough queens. It's only two tanks. Like, eventually, you just have to go for it. Like, I guess oh. you could let the tanks eventually kill all of your queens, but probably it's better at some point to push. All right, well, the reinforcements are about to merge here, so he needs to attack in right now. Yeah. Can he have the splitting? So many banes, dude. Just yeah. no way. GG. GG. Game three, go, go. Okay. Different game, man. I gotta tell you, I don't feel like uh, Ryung really appreciated the fact that Zerg is gonna get those two bases at the top left pretty quickly. Didn't do a lot to interfere. No. Seems slower, maybe tired from that last game, or game one, I mean. It's possible. If they had shown us his birthday in the previous game when I asked, i tell you how old he is and how likely it is that he's tired, but unfortunately, <laughs> I just don't have that info. All right, well, we are moving quickly into game three now. Um. And Armani, I mean, honestly, that game just looked very easy. Terran just came out with a push, looked like it was never going to work, interfered with reinforcements. Um, maybe Ryung not going to attack again this time around. I don't know. I think it would be better for him, honestly. Like, yeah. Uh, Armani is really good in the mid game. Like, he really gets his macro flowing. He, he gets those armies moving around. And I mean, he, he definitely took control of both games mid game. All right, guys, Berlin Grad for map three, the loser is knocked out of the GSL. Let's go. Guangdong Freaks, our money. Team GP, Ryong. Now, if, uh, well, whoever moves on, do either of these guys have a real shot versus Dark? Are they just uh, going to be Dark's Armani deli does. meat? Armani does. You think Armani can do it? Yeah, ZVZ can be volatile enough. Like, I mean, TRG beat Rogue. DRG, yeah. like, has been held back from his ZVZ. Yeah, forever. Yeah, for the past year, at least. Like, since he came back from military, basically, like, he has lost almost every ZVZ. So, I mean, if DRG can upset Rogue, Armani has a chance. But honestly, looking at Ryung's series here and his previous series against Dark, I don't think he has any chance to beat Dark. Yeah. I just don't see it. Well, even the way that Ryung won that one game, it did seem like... It's like if Armani was playing a song at the finale of the song, 
he just didn't hit all the notes and messed it up. You know what I mean? And he fell into a volcano. It's like a kid bombing at a piano recital. He was like playing <laughs> yeah. the song, and then he like couldn't do it, and then he freaked out, and he started crying, and he ran off the stage. Yeah, something like that. And we're like, all right, well, that's... I'm like, no, just keep playing. You're doing fine. Then he morphs five more Broodlords. I'm like, what? I'm like, is he morphing Broodlords in the song? This is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was like he just didn't finish the job. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like Ryung yeah. had some kind of uh, moment of brilliance really to stop it. Uh, he just sort of waited to the game out. And then mm -hmm. I think especially we saw Armani make roaches. And no, he had no larva banked. He had 8K and just like not larva. It's like, well, that's... He had larva for quite some time, but he did a couple things during the Broodlord attack. Yeah. Where he's like, 56 Zerglings. And he did stuff like that a couple times. Where it's like, okay, kind of I squandered mean... squandered his larva. Yeah, yeah. It makes the Remax slower and, and tough. And it's like, well, super late game, it's hard to make Lings that good. There's too much splash going on and everything, too many upgrades. Uh, one thing I have to say, though, I think game one, at least, there was some interesting things going on, especially from Ryung's side. Yeah. Whereas game two, I mean, we just looked at the position, and it was like, this does not look like he has any realistic attack available. And then he attacked, and it didn't work, and he, di he died, right? So... I'm, I'm much... I really hope we get something closer to game one than to game two. Yeah, me too. Although we'll probably miss our trains home if that's the case. Yeah, if we, if we have a long one, yeah, I don't know how this night's going to end. Also, keep in mind, if Ryung does win here, it's like he kind of did the same thing versus uh, Dark. Long, long game. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. Honestly, I want to see Ryung win here. Because I, I, I would like to see him try something like what he did against Armani against Dark. Because yeah. there's something to being very cost-efficient on defense into waiting for that one moment where you really massacre an army, right? There is right. something to that. Because you only get so many max outs, even with half map. Sure. Overlord coming in now. And just cleans that up. So, um, you know, we've got Liberator Tech coming up here. Hellions are still being made in pairs. And it does look as though, uh, unless we start to see a bunch of barracks come down here, it's probably going to be a third base in a little bit from now here from the Terran. Yeah, yeah. The, like, Stim is on the way. Liberator coming. Very, very slow opener, which is fine. Double Evo coming up from Armani, so similar to that last game. Definitely going to be Ling Bane focused. But, I mean, if your opponent is being Ling Bane focused, you know, there's, there's two ways you can go about it, right? You can just kind of not engage. Or if you engage, you just have to be very cost efficient and yeah. just whittle it down, which can be tough. If Zerg macros well and engages well, I mean, you win one big defensive battle with that, with the pure Ling Bane, and you're golden. It's it's hard for Terran to do much after that. Is there any uh, warrant to trying to go for a Nidus network coming up here? No. You don't think so? No. So, I think if you go Nidus here, you're throwing the game. Like, I, I like Nidus late game against Terran when stuff gets spread out. Sometimes you can pop it in and, like, kill stuff in the main. Like, we've seen some very cool moves like that from Top Zerbs. Yeah. But, like, Ling Queen, Nidus against Terran? I don't buy it. I don't buy it? It's garbage, man. Well, he's going to be getting the 1-1 one, one upgrades here. Stim's done, but I don't think a push is around the corner here. We've still got a lot more barracks coming down now. A couple medevacs on the way, so I'm sure he'll harass lightly with that, but that's about it. I like that he's retaining these Hellions. I think that's very important right now, because that third base is landed in mining. Yeah, Armani just going to continue to power up, man, in for a super slow game. We do have Marines coming out five at a time here, so the infrastructure's finally really built in. Nice little defensive liberator. Yeah, that's cute. 
Good amount of lings and banes being made. Yeah, we're at the point in time where tanks are going to be incremented out one by one. We do have an armory coming as well. Combat okay. shields close to finishing up. On the Zerg side of thing, things, excuse me, baneling sweep almost done. Yeah, and he's got the macro hatch going up in the main. So this tells us that he is going to stay on Ling Bane for the foreseeable future, which we already kind of knew from the time we leave those and everything. Yeah, this is why that Liberator is set up over here. Yeah, does a great job. Yeah, it doesn't get anything, actually. Was... Zerg now going for those five bases. So we're not far away from when the Terran actually does need to push. They need to start to engage the Zerg. I don't think he has any push potential once again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, look at the creep spread. He's about to have Baneling speed, even upgrades. He has the macro hatch. He has a good amount of queens. As far as splash damage here for Ryung, like, I guess you have Hellbats, but, like, those are going to get cleaned up with Banelings. But how many tanks does he have? Two? If that? Could be right. I Yeah. Like, harass the edges, kill some creep, shave off what you can. But I don't think there's any real kill potential here. You know, man, Zerg Maybe is getting up to one six bases there. Mm. I mean, Zerg is really going to start to get insanely big here. I just feel like Ryung is too slow in this game. It just He's not matching the development that uh, Armani has. To be honest, this has been somewhat of a dull game because we haven't had that much interaction. Mm -hmm. um, but hold on. Now oh. we got that attack coming up here. And he suddenly it looks like... that and kills that. Wow. Okay, so that was all he needed to do. So that was the worst of all worlds for Armani. Yeah. If he literally hadn't done anything about one of the hatches, he could have saved the other. Uh, instead, both gone. So that's a big, big moment for Ryung. A lot more Banes coming up here. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stunned that that went as well as it did. You know what I mean? You would expect maybe he gets one of them at best, but so far so good here. Yeah, I think he was planning on forcing one, but getting both, amazing. 2-2 Two -two gonna be finishing up here for Armani pretty quickly. He picks up most of the, or half the Marines, I guess. This is everything else. Nice little dive bomb into the main. Good targeting on that medevac. All right, so he will clean this up. Loses a few queens, but, I mean, that's not that big a deal. Yeah, nicely done here. And uh, as the fourth base comes down here, more infrastructure is going to be uh, built in. Um, I mean, we should expect a pretty big push coming from Terran. But first, it looks like Zerg wants to see as, as the, you know, those medevacs are in transit. Maybe he can do a little bit more damage over here. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a lot of SCV kills, man. Mm. And the Marines are arcing. And the Banelings are still basically finding targets. 46 SCVs oh, are killed off. Oh, the second command center is where all the SCVs died. And Ryung just realized that he has, like, no economy. Yeah. Look at that. He drops from 80-plus workers to 40. And even though, Brutal. Zerg, even though Zerg lost those bases there, I don't think this is going to be too much of a pain here for Armani. I think he could basically come back into this. That, that was a great moment for Armani. That was... Yeah. Like, if he had only killed 20... I think Ryung is fine. Yeah. But 46 is a yeah, lot, dude. No, that's his economy really got shattered there. Um, look at this, 102 drones for Armani. Holy crap. That is a lot of workers, man. That's over half of supply. Yeah, it's insane, man. And um, I mean, he's going to be maxed out again. I think it's going to be a straightforward mass sling bane, maybe some hydras thrown in there. We see yeah. some on screen now. Uh, and, you know, pick your. Pick your base and, and go in there. Yeah, Ryung, oh, now that the Hydras are out, it's harder for him to harass and everything. Is there a way for him to just kind of turtle up? He has two factory siege tanks, right? Well, Can I'm, he turtle this up and actually recover his economy? Not on four bases, I don't think. I think if he has three bases, he can do that. I think he spread too thin on four. Ooh, nice little attack down here at the bottom. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hydras are coming back to basically get out of here. 53 workers now here. Oh, the Hydra's coming down. Ryung, pay attention. Yeah, with Vipers coming. Oh, man. I. If he wasn't Hive Tech yet, I'd give Ryung a much better chance of having some comeback potential. But I think if you... If you just bring your Vipers across the map, this becomes 
brutal. You're going to lose yeah. all these important liberators and siege tanks before you have any real anti viper. He's chased that off pretty well here. Looks like the Metamax are going to try to come back in once more. I do feel like right now, Ryung is basically on the verge of death. Yeah. And we're just sort of waiting for Armani to finish him off. But if Ryung can get his supply a little bit higher and a little bit entrenched, this could turn into game one again because yeah. Armani gets very wasteful. He's not good at actually finishing. But this game, he's much further ahead than he was in... in that game one that we launched, right? <clears throat> okay, oh. so. Okay, backing up. Yeah, yeah, see, he's he's being efficient, he's holding on. Look at this, six spines. <laughs> I think Armani definitely being cautious after what happened in the last game where he basically overextended and bled out his army. Mm. He needs to look for an opening where he can really deliver. I do feel like that bottom left base the nine o'clock base, I do feel like that is vulnerable. Oh, nine? Yeah. Well, he has he has sensor tower, so he can kind of reposition, but yeah, maybe if our money moves really quickly, you can get in like snipe it or something. Okay, another big drop up here. Armani starting to get to the point where he's kind of spread too thin here. Is he gonna commit anyways? Nice job there, pulls that tank down. Yeah. The Yoinks are going to be amazing. Uh, okay, he kills off this hatchery. There are ghosts coming out, so maybe we can hit some EMPs here. Oh, this is so weird. I think these are not the cleanest engagements here, and now this medevac group is going to come down and start to tear through this base. Okay, Ryung has a shot this game. Yeah, he does. I Look think he's basically now. weathered the storm. He's up to 81 workers. Uh, he is going to need to get a fifth relatively soon. Enhanced shockwaves come double nidus. Yeah. Okay, I like this type of creativity out of Armani because, you know, these frontal attacks are not working. Ryung is well, sewn up tight. It, it just sees, yeah, he's, he's sewn up too tight for sure. He's basically just sitting on four bases and, and you know, running the clock here. I think if he gets niduses inside the main and starts to rot out the inside, it's going to be huge. being as efficient as he possibly can. So many Banes, man. If it's he, crazy. If he can stop these, this first double Nidus, that's going to be big. Can he get over there, though? I don't know. Where is he going to make it? Does he have an Overlord? I don't see. On the I don't think he does right I feel now. like he does not. Yeah. I think Ryung actually has an idea of what's going on. I just saw a flying unit go from the top left down. So, like, he might be looking for, like, an Overlord that's in position. Now, hold on. Here comes uh, Armani just trying to trudge right through all this. Yeah. Mm, and not it's just very not... efficient. I don't get it. You make two Nidus's, and then you don't mm. morph him in inside of his base. Okay, we have four Speed Overseers entering the area. So, he's definitely... As soon as you see those as Ryung, you should be on the lookout for Nidus. Yeah. Nice snipe. Yeah. Can he stop these ones in the main, though? Yeah, I don't think he's seen those ones at all yet. There's no sensor tower or anything up there. All right, eliminates those two. But that's where the real trick comes in, Tasis. That's the mind game. Because here comes the two Niduses into the main. Oh, oh man. Ah. Ah. All right, some <laughs> turrets and a bunker coming up. Uh, might end up losing that. There Nidus. it is. Okay, double Nidus. Can he stop this? This is such an important moment. And it might actually be a bit of a fake here. He might just want to actually attack up into this position mm. over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks there's like so many oh. SCDs. Okay. Pretty painful. More lurkers. Oh, that's weird. All right. How much more is actually up here to defend? Well, Ryung has plummeted in supply. Uh, Armani, not with a huge bank. A lot of his supply is workers. 84 more Lings on the way. Is there gonna be a finishing blow here? And Terran's gonna move out? What? Well, he might oh. be looking at this and saying, I am so dead that I need to attack. Yeah. That's a, that's a possibility. Well, into the jaws of the beast he goes. Mm.
thing is, I can't possibly imagine he has enough to fight this. With more Banes coming up. Yeah, it's he's gonna, he's gonna I mean, start to shell a base maybe and then die. It's a sick set of units and he has decent supply, but yeah, it's it's so tough. And you know, I don't see Medivax over here. I don't see a, a, an exit ramp. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's gotta be gonna it. be game. Get me into the next series. All GG. Right. Okay, Ryung is dead. It's gonna be a ZBZ now. Armani versus Dark. Uh, Armani pretty happy with with pulling that one out. After okay. game one, it, it looked tough for him, but... Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that one moment where he hit the Banes into both locations and killed 46, 47 SCDs. Yeah. That is so hard to come back from. And Ryung started to make a game of it, but Armani just gained too much of an edge at that point. You're absolutely right. Uh, Armani and Ryung talking about that game after it's finished. Look, man, I mean, that was that was a, a rough one for Ryung. Look forward to seeing him next season. Our final match, Armani Verstark, is coming up next, guys. We'll be back after this short break.